As we all know, we are in the final days of the Kansas City Southern. While the official merger with Canadian Pacific has yet to be finalized and approved by the STV, some changes are already being made to the KCS system. One of those changes being the implementation of a new train symbol system. While most of the trains running are still using the KCS symbols, a handful of trains have been officially changed. Before diving into the new CPKC symbols, let's take a look at how the KCS symbols work. Their symbol system is pretty much identical to the Union Pacific symbol system. In the heart of Mississippi on the Meridian subdivision, we see a westbound manifest. This train symbol is MNSJA. Now let's break down the symbol. The first letter of the symbol represents the type of train it is. So in our case, the first letter is M. M stands for manifest, or in other words, a mixed freight that can feature just about anything within the consist. So the next four letters in the symbol are the origin point, followed by where the train will terminate. Each point of interest on the railroad, whether it's an origin or terminus, has a two-letter abbreviation code. The origin point of our train is NS. Now NS stands for exactly what you think it would, Norfolk Southern. MNSJA actually originates on Norfolk Southern rails in Alabama, and the train is handed off to KCS at their interchange here in Meridian, Mississippi. As for the terminus, we have JA, which stands for Jackson, Mississippi, specifically the busy high oak yard. Let's use the railroad's OCS as our next example. The F units are leading the Southern Bell southbound on a deadhead run. So the symbol is BKCSH. The B stands for business train. The origin point KC is Kansas City. And the SH is where the business train will end its journey in Shreveport, Louisiana. Now there are a few exceptions, but this format is followed by the majority of the road trains. The new CPKC symbol system is very similar to Canadian Pacific's current scheme. Currently, CP solely utilizes a three-digit number system rather than using abbreviation for origin or ending points. Let's take a look at this manifest. It runs from Artesia, Mississippi to Shreveport, Louisiana. For years it has run as the MARSH, but now it runs as the M267. This symbol is somewhat of a hybrid between the KCS and CP symbol system. The first letter that distinguishes what type of train remains from the KCS, but the three-digit number of CP is also present. Another example is former MKCSZ, a manifest train that runs from Kansas City to south of the border in Mexico. Now it is simply identified as M280. Another example is the oil trains that come from the CP interchange in Kansas City and run south to the chemical plants of Port Arthur, Texas. Their CP symbols were train 576 and 577 for south and northbounds respectively. The new CPKC symbol that KCS is using simply added the letter O in front of 576 and 577 to identify it as an oil train. Not only the road trains are seeing changes to their symbols, the local jobs have also received new symbols. KCS locals would follow a different format compared to the road trains that we've gone over. For example, the Bossier Turn, which was featured in last week's video, has a symbol of LBC202. The first letter represents the type of train like usual, as in this case a local, and the following two letter, BC, represents its origin in Bossier City. And that is followed by a three digit number. The three digit number is there because this train is a turn job, meaning it returns to Bossier City. Well, the new CP symbol is simplified and calls the local L49. Now, all of these symbols that I've gone over in this video are certainly subject to possibly change. For all I know, this system may simply just be a transitional thing, and perhaps the traditional CP three-digit system will take over once the merger is approved. But at the time of editing this video, this is the information we got. But nevertheless, I hope you enjoyed this quick video on how the symbols of KCS are slowly being replaced with these CPKC ones. It is interesting and also saddening to see things change as this merger approaches and there's no doubt bigger changes are probably coming. If you did like this video, leave a like down below. We're going to be filming a lot of KCS content in these final months and we'll cover the CPKC once the merger is approved. So consider subscribing if you are interested in seeing the transition. Until next time, I will see you somewhere out there on the rails, and as always, thanks for watching.